Beep, 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 beep. Morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Good, good people. I sense a disturbance in the farce. <laughs> it's all things Spanish today. Become a warrior teacher. Buy me a super thanks or a coffee if you can, please. My help. Right, just, you know, keep going and all that. Now, here's the thing. Right, I'm seeing some good stuff this morning. I don't know whether everybody else has been looking. I'm seeing some good stuff this morning. There's a great little tale doing the rounds of a woman who is about to have a meeting with a very angry they-them teacher. <laughs> because apparently they tried to teach gender ideology and queer theory crap to a bunch of 13-year-olds and they were having none of it. <laughs> they laughed around the classroom. <laughs> That's what you do with them, isn't it? Which I thought was great, but that's not the main news. The reason I'm doing a special, Jester Special, let the Jester Special shine a light on thee, is because we have great news from sunny Spain, from España. So good news for the Spanish and good news generally for the movement. So here we go. Without further ado, um, <clears throat> Sanchez socialists suffer in Spain's regional municipal elections. Conservatives make major gains, but may need far right's help to govern some regions. Madrid, Prime Minister, Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez's Socialist Worker Party, the PSOE, suffered heavy losses in Spain's local elections as the Conservative Popular Party took control of a string of key city halls and regions. The elections held for 12 of the country's 17 regional parliaments and in municipalities nationwide are seen as a bellwether just months before general election. That's a lovely word, isn't it? Bellwether. The General Secretary of the PP, Kuka Gamara, described the result as an immense blue tide. Isn't that lovely? A blue tide. The PP wrestled control of the regions of Aragon, Valencia and the Balearic, Island, but, <coughs> Balearic Islands from the PSOE. I keep wanting to say piece of shit. For the PSOE, although it will need the backing of other parties like the far-right Vox in order to govern them. It also won an outright majority in La Rioja. <laughs> it's just... Oh, today I'm off to sunny Spain. Viva campaigners. <laughs> I love it. Right. As expected, the Conservatives' most convincing result was in the Madrid region, where the president, the libertarian populist Isabel Diaz Ayuso, increased her share of seats to secure a majority. The PP also further strengthened its grip on Madrid City Hall, winning an absolute majority there. In Madrid and elsewhere across Spain, the PP took advantage of the retreat of the centre-right Chaudanandos party, which had a disastrous night and came close to being wiped off the electoral, ma electoral map. Far-left Podemos also suffered substantial losses, including losing all ten of its representatives in the Madeira Regional Parliament. With the PP receiving over 750,000 votes more than the POSE, PSOE, the overall result is a huge boost to the chance of the Conservative leaders Conservative leader, Alberto Nunes Fejeo, winning the general election, which is due before the end of the year. However, that also underscores the party's reliance on Vox in forming governments with no other potential partners available to it among Spain's main parties. The far right doubled its votes compared to the 2019 municipal election. So we've got a swing of uh, the pendulum is happening in España. Um... This is, it's, you know... There's a disturbance in the farce, folks. There's a disturbance in the farce. And what we're seeing is the beginnings, hopefully, of um, something quite serious in terms of bringing Spain back to some kind of reality when it comes to women's rights and the rights of gays and homosexuals. Um, we're going to see more of this, I think. That's my prediction, is we're going to see more of this as people begin to catch on. It's, um, it's starting to happen. We've got things happening in schools in Britain. I think... Politicians are starting to pay attention. I noticed that woman from um, the Ardman Animation. What's her, what's her name? Um, Annalise Doddery. I noticed her um, suddenly starting to Martin Bailey. Did you see it? Of course women don't have penises, but sex and gender are different, and we shouldn't conflate the two, yeah. Other than when it serves your purpose. Hey, Annalise, you fair-weather fart. <laughs> so... Rejoice. I think this is good news. I mean, I'll be interested to hear from you in the Dubris whether you think it's good news. But I certainly think it's good news. Um, and, well, we should take good news where we can get it, don't you think? It's a glorious day. Are you going to go out? I'm going to go out. So, there we go, Spain. What can I say? 
we see movement. I think it's good movement. I think Spain is, is showing us some promise that we're not seeing elsewhere. And um, that's important. So I'd like to hear what you think about this, whether you feel it's significant uh, in the in the old doobries. So if you're able to provide some commentary in my YouTube things, I don't think there's anything else I want to say about it, really. It was only a short one just to say, look, have a look at this, because this is where we're going. I put the article in the in the doobries anyway. But it does look like what we're seeing is a... Um, a move away from the kind of fruit loopery that we're seeing in the left in the UK. And as far as I'm concerned, that can only be a good thing. There's no way it's a bad thing. So, go Spain. What can I tell you? Fantastic stuff. All right, folks. Um, there was one tweet that goes with this that I want to read just to finish off. <laughs> Which came from El Marquez de Vichon. I'll put the link to the tweet in the dupers as well, just so that you've got that um, to have a look at and refer to, because it's a very interesting tweet from somebody who's obviously got some way of being in the know. So here we go. Last bit then, just to tell you what this said in the tweet. The, the El Marquet de Vichon says, It is with great pleasure that I announce... I love this. The, uh, this is Schadenfreude and Jusson's wrapped into one, isn't it? It is with great pleasure that I announce the electoral thrashing in Spain of the woke left... <laughs> Political opinions in yesterday's regional and municipal elections. The most extreme party responsible for the trans law at the national level has been virtually gutted. Life is good. The Socialist Party, this is the PSOE I mentioned earlier, governs Spain in coalition with Podemos, which are the far left. Of the 12 regions that had elections yesterday, the Socialists will hold on to power in two. The other 10 regions will be governed by the centre-right, in some cases with the populist right. This is like, you know... Seismic, folks. Madrid community, Valencian community, Balearic community, Murcia, Aragon, Extremadura, La Rioja, Cantabria will all be conservative blue. Major cities like Madrid, Valencia, Seville and Malaga have stayed or gone blue, in some cases with an absolute majority. The Podemos far left party has, here's the best bit, essentially gone tits up. <laughs> and has been locked out of many areas. Zero seats. I think that we can safely leave it to say at the El Marcus de Vichon. If you wish to follow the Twitter handle, which I recommend because there's always interesting stuff coming from this one. It's Isaac underscore D-E underscore Tormes, T-O-R-M-E-S. I'll put the link in it to the Dubris so you can follow. All right. Um, rejoice. We like these small wins. Well, it's not a small win for Spain, is it? It's a bloody great big one. Just to repeat, the far left loony party that bought transgender identity queer theory nonsense to Spain have gone tits up. Zero seats. Ta-da! <laughs> See you later, good peeps. Have a fine day.